Welcome to Beyond Our Focus. I'm Stefan, this is Amanda, and this is Breaking Prisms, where we go over Black Mirror and the Twilight Zone. We've already finished up the new season of the Twilight Zone. Now we're going over Black Mirror. Is it okay? Did, did I... I didn't know. You're, you're fine. All you're right. Like, I thought you hit yourself so hard you lost your voice. I, think, I don't think so. Because you're like, well, bam, and you're like, welcome to Breaking Prisms. Right uh, Go ahead. Go ahead. We, 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 we are in the fourth season of Black Mirror, the third episode, I believe. Yeah. Pretty sure, third episode. USS. Archangel. Archangel, Crocodile, and this one. So fourth episode, I was wrong. We're on the fourth episode of the fourth season. Four, awesome. Four. Four, awesome. Four. Awesome. Called Hang the DJ. Hang the blessed GJ. The GJ? The GJ, the GJ. The GJ. Don't hang GJ. DJ. Don't I mean, it was also, she's also from Full House. Oh. <laughs> DJ. Yeah. Wow, it's been a bit. It has been a bit. But I never watched Fuller House. But anyways, because half the time we have that problem of just going, what do It's so easy, though. Yeah. It's so easy. So, hang the DJ is about... A society setting people up to try to find your perfect match. Yes. So dating. Relationships. Yes. A society of building relationships. So, so of course, as always, some top level for a few minutes. God! Why? The timer? The timer. Oh. It's over there. I can't reach it. Okay, I'll use okay. my phone. Oh, wait. I, I maybe I'll can reach it. I'll use my phone. It'll be all right. Anyways, <laughs> some top level. Just squint your eyes and uh, on the... The camera it shows you. Here we go. Beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. Now that's so distracting. Well, it's there now. <laughs> the numbers move so fast. Anyways. Anyways. So, top level, we have man, woman. <laughs> there are there is a man and a woman in this. In most shows, there are men and women. So, top level, you have Amy and Frank as our two main characters, pretty much. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Like, we get random names on occasion that just kind of... Whoo, you know, if you would have asked me out of the blue what their names were, oh, probably couldn't no. told you. <laughs> Frank and Amy. But as you mentioned, like, yeah, yeah, that sounds right. That actually sounds 100% right. I'll go so with that. So we have Frank and Amy who are matched up on their... It, 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 they literally have a little thingamajig, a device, a coach. A coach. A coach. It's that a AI thing. tells them where to be, when to be there, and... Can sometimes tell you who you're meeting and not until they see you, <laughs> I guess. Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, and then it also can tell you how long you're going to be with this person. Yes. You 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 hit you hit a button and it says doo doo, and yep. then gives you a time. And they have what was the original twenty four hours? They, Twelve. Twelve. Twelve yes, hours. They had just 12 till the morning. Hours. And so they go on their first date, and that sets up the entire show. So you, you pretty much, in within the first, like, five minutes, figure out how this system works. Which is, be, thing beeps, tells you where to be at, you meet that person, and then it tells you how long you're going to be with that person. Yeah, and you don't have an option. Yeah. You're going to be with this person for however long this little computer handheld thing tells you. Yes. <sighs> and 12 hours? Okay, that's quick, sure. And then followed up immediately after that. They both get uh, relationships for a year and nine months. Yes. Uh, she has the nine-month relationship, and he has the full year. And it's like within, as I said, within the first five minutes, the meeting, you can tell there's a connection between them. And this episode is about those two particular people. Yes. Not about one or the other. It is about them. Yes. And how they interact into the, the relationships that follow. Yeah. Yeah. So... Oh, that was pretty much top level without That's giving anything well, away. Top level summary of what's going on. Pretty much the goal of this system is to keep pairing you and pairing you to make a profile of who you should be with. And then by the end of how many ever relationships they go through, they pick your perfect, perfect match. match. And you get paired up and then that's who you're going to be and with. And they're right 99.8% of, of the time. time. Yes. I thought the episode was great. 
I, it was As, amazing. I think I've said on multiple other episodes, I really enjoyed this episode. And then even when we started the episode, I'm like, this is my second favorite episode. Ah, uh, let's get into it a little bit. I don't, I, it's been a while since I've seen it. And we got in like three minutes. So, no, no, this is my favorite episode, my second favorite episode. No, this was, a, this was an amazing episode. Like from beginning to end, you're just, you're, you're cheering. Like you just meet these two people and already you're like, you guys are awkward as hell and I love you. Yes, they're awkward, but they're awkward in a good way around each other. Because it's not a put-off awkward. It's not a one person's awkward and then the other one's only awkward because they're reacting to that person. Like No, that was him and his 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 um year relationship afterwards. Yes. Like <laughs> literally within like the first minute of them meeting each other, she says her name and he drops a fork and he's like fork and he's like no, no, not my name's not fork. My name's Frank, but I mean it's close. <laughs> But they they were really good together in yes. the beginning, and they both do a great great job. And it's it's one of those things where it's like as soon as you realize that this app is a it has a expiration date, you feel sad. Like you already meet them within the first minute. It's like you find out they only have twelve hours, and you you already feel sad for them because you're like you know you guys are good. In, in, in you a, seem a, really good together. Yeah, in it's a regular sad. world, I'd be like I'm cheering for you too. But it is really, really well done. Yes. Uh, once again, Black Mirror. The technology is integral yes. to this episode. You can't remove it and not have this episode. It would be impossible. And without spoiling anything, it would be impossible. impossible. <laughs> <laughs> but they make it seem so flawless. Like it's so like that's brought, that's why you can't remove it. It's so built into it. That literally, you would just have people staring at each other if you removed it. And it's like, okay, what are we watching? We're just watching people going on dates. Because the society is so built around this, this, this system that you don't have a choice. Yes. You have to do it. You're being told, and we get some really angry glares from random yeah. weird guys in like, black suits. There's, there's literally guards that have <laughs> tasers. And it's like your little coach, this little bobble thing in your hand goes... If you do not comply with the system, there will be consequences. You will be banished. Yes. And you're like, okay. You will be sent west. Yeah. <laughs> oh. With no guns. No, yeah, no, nothing, nothing. So I think the acting was super well done in this. The characters are insanely likable. Yes. Uh, acting, visuals, everything. It was, it was perfect. It's a great, great, great Black Mirror episode. Yes. Second only, still, my opinion, to San Junipero. Because yes. I will always love San Junipero. And a lot of people, apparently, who have seen this episode, like, kind of, not not really compare them, but they put them side by side as far as, like, they could be in the same world. I mean, they are in the Black Mirror world. But they, <laughs> like, as in, like, this could have e could either be a technology that led up to San Junipero, or this could be a technology that existed after it. So... So yes, 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 yes. Uh, what, what are we rating this fancy episode that we seem to have enjoyed quite a bit before going into spoilers that really spoil the episode? <laughs> um, personally, I believe we have not lost a single cubie. I did, I did lose a cube. Yay! Which, I mean, I think I could guess. I mean, calling this my second <laughs> favorite episode. I mean, it, it has to be a five. It, it, was, it was one of those puzzles where you walk into the room and you're like, if I do this, this, and this... And then you did it, and you're like, ha-ha. There's, there, there's nothing about the episode I didn't like. Hmm. I think everything was just super well Any, done. Anything that made you cringe was supposed to. Exactly. That was the purpose. That's, it was there for... Everything has a reason, yeah, Frank. Oh, let me be angry. <laughs> you're so angry. Oh, anyway. Anyway, we're moving spoilers before. I just spoil it automatically. <laughs> Go away if you don't oh. want to do spoilers. Don't be so mean. Go away. Um, if you haven't watched this episode, please. don't watch the spoilers. Yeah, please Because watch there's it. a giant, yes. giant spoiler for this that does, it would ruin what the episode is. Yes. It helps a lot not, not, not knowing. Plus, it is a very good episode to just go enjoy. Like, even if you have seen it, go watch it again. Go, just go watch it again, because it's worth it. It is, it really is. It's, it's a, in my opinion, again, phenomenal episode. Uh, I truly say, once we get done with the series... 
Black Mirror. We're gonna have to, we should just have an episode that we rank the entire series, episode by episode. Least favorite to most favorite. Oh, okay. If I remember them. <laughs> we can go over them. We'll do a summary real quick. I think it'd be really interesting. Yeah. It'd be five seasons we have completely done, and just see how we feel about them. You make your list. I'll make mine. We'll compare them, and then we'll give them like a point scale, and we'll see what comes up to be number one. The last season's going to be... Uh, well, I know that's going to be really low. <laughs> we both didn't like it very much. Yeah. So, it'd be interesting to see how it, everything pans out. I'm really out. bad at rating things, guys. Just let you know when that gets there. <laughs> What? I said I'm really bad at rating things, guys. Oh, rating, rating. Well, you're not really rating at this what point. What did you think I was saying? I thought you said reading. Oh, reading. I'm like, you're really bad at reading. I mean, we do a lot of reading. As I say, we read on camera. You do better than me, so I don't know what that says about me. So. Go watch. You've had plenty of time to go away. We're, we're <laughs> dropping in the, in the, the, the spoilers oh, yeah. and everything else. Uh, so, yeah, let's just let's just jump into it there. After their first year long, their first long term relationship, yes. she goes through dozens. We find out hundreds. I mean, no, I guess not in this particular thing. It was just dozens of relationships lot. that are short term, and she's unhappy. Like literally, most of them are thirty six hours. So they yes. have time to spend a day together, get busy a bunch of times, and then go. That was it. And Shake then, hands with each other. Like, after a while, she stopped hugging him. Like, the the first couple relationships, you kind of hug, whatever. No, she even just all of them were handshakes. Because she didn't care. Yeah. She found who she liked, and she did not care at that point. Yeah. And same with him. I mean, we, we go to one of his relationships where he's talking about the other girl. Well, well, the, the thing is, is that they finally get paired up again, and they have a... Great time. They decide oh. we're not, we are not going to look at the time. Ugh. They decide mutually, handshake on it. We're not going to put that pressure on us. We're just going to enjoy our time together. And they do for a while. And the issue, we, don't, we don't find out how long they spend yeah. together before he has to know. Yes. And I understand why he has to know. Yeah. He's he, he decided he's completely fallen for her. He loves her. He wants to be with her. But he has to know the expiration. He has to know if this is permanent or not. And if it's going to end soon, he doesn't want it to. And yes. it, it, it's breaking him not knowing when it's going to end, knowing that it's probably going to end. And he has to know when that is. So he decides on his own time. He's like, Coach, I got to know. And they're like, okay, well, they pop up the screen. And he's like, technically, technically by their little system, you're supposed to be mutually agreed with your other person to click it. But apparently you can click it on your own. Oh, what you're a just not supposed to. Take that is. So he clicks it and it says five years. And even though he still looks kind of worried, it's kind of like a relief because it's a long time. Then all of a sudden, recalibrating, recalibrating, and the number starts getting lower. And so it goes and five lower. years to three years to 18 months to like six months to three to weeks. Three weeks. And it ends with 20 hours. Yes. So he ends up staying up the entire... He's like crying at this point. He's like, make it stop. They're like, it, it'll stop when it stops. Because you did this on your own, it's recalibrated. So pretty much because you went behind your partner's back, it doesn't really seem like you guys are that great of a match anymore. So we're just going to keep going down and down and down. And I was like, oh my goodness. So yeah... So she, he tries to enjoy the last 20 hours. He's by so not, distracted, yeah. it's not even funny. Till finally she's like, dude, what's up? What happened? Something's wrong. And he does tell her. He's like, I looked. And it's like, okay, well, how much? It's only tw it's like an hour now. And so she's mad at him at first. But then he lets slip, we did have five years. And it's just like, well, bam. So, yeah. Guy comes at him with a taser. <laughs> Apparently, they look just too disgruntled for them, so. Well, he tells her that they could just screw the system. Mm. Anytime you talk about negative about the system, random people appear to try to, so. So, he spends the last hour, or last couple minutes or whatever, by himself in the room they're supposed to be sharing, just crying and talking to his coach. He's very upset. Yes. Very upset. To the point where everything happens for a reason. Which we hear so many times. It's like, everything happens for a reason. And he's like, dude, just let me be angry. Can I please? Because he talks about, you know, like, screwing the system, everything like that. And she's like, you know, failure to comply with the system. And it's like, just let me be angry. Let me do this. Let me yell at you. And it's like, 
You, you know, you're a great companion. Thank you. Oh my. <laughs> kill you. Kill you. So, yeah. So, to which. Montage. Well, they go on more dates. Yes. It's a, it pretty much, she has a montage of just sleeping with random people. And he, we see one of his relationships, which is him sleeping with some chick and literally talking about her. Meanwhile, she is talking about a guy she was with. Yes. So, it's, it's very obvious. They neither care about this relationship. Yeah. They're much more focused on previous relationships. Yeah. So it's like, okay, can we just think about the other person and get this over? Well, yeah, that's fine. And that's what they do. Yeah. So, so eventually yeah. they come to, we see her, and ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, we found your perfect match. Yes. Do I know this person? No, you do not. But you can see one of the people you've seen before because... Studies have shown it provides some kind of closure, closure. before going into Frank, I want it to be Frank. And like, literally, person is still talking Frank. It's Frank. I want it Frank. And apparently, once we meet Frank, apparently they found his perfect match, yes. too, because that's one of the first things he says. Yes. It's like, I'm being paired up tomorrow. Me, too. Okay, well, we have this. We have this evening, which by the time they sit down, they have one minute and 24 seconds. And there are, like, from the beginning, they're like, let's screw the system. We're, we're jumping the wall. Because apparently the place is, has a wall has built a wall, around it. Has a wall. Trump won. He's built a wall around us. Oh. So, yes. Yeah, so, they're like, we're, we're, we're hitting town. We're done. We're let's done. Screw the system. Screw everything. We're leaving together. We want to be together. So, you hear beep. Beep, beep of their thing. Of, well, technically, it's just his. Because she... But yeah, she, she threw she, hers in the water earlier. Yeah, yeah. She said, can you count to four? Because she had been skipping rocks. And so she skipped it right across. It counted to four. And I thought that was really cool. I was like, can you count to four? Okay. One, two, One, two three. three. Yeah, and it's like, ee! That was so cool. I like that touch. So, they rebel. Angry men with Taser show up again. And he points a taser at her. And goes... Bzzz. Well, because earlier on, they decided to swap their theories of what's going on. He says it was a simulation. She thinks it's just... I forgot her original one. Because it wasn't, this is a test. Hers was, if they're really not... If it's just random. Everything's just random. No, and they just Hers like, was, if they, they're, they're their only goal is to wear you down. Till eventually they just tell you someone and you accept it. Yeah, you're just so tired of the process. You're like, dude, I'll be with anyone at this point. Yeah. And his was, it's all a simulation. And so by the end of it, she's like, I truly believe this is a test. That we are meant to be together and they're just trying to prove it. And so... She reaches her hand out and puts it on the taser. And nothing happens. And then he pauses and then everybody else yes. pauses. Everything just freezes like the system has been broken. And they hit town. They go to the wall and they climb. And they climb. And tell the world literally digitizes and breaks down. Yep, yep. And then we see a whole bunch of versions of them. Yes. All with little... Numbers above their heads. Yeah, all different numbers. Theirs is the 998, which yes. we've seen so many times. So the 998th, yeah. maybe it? That's what Simulation. Like. And we see every a lot of different numbers. Yeah. And everybody starts raising up to a thousand. Like, Simulation has completed 1,000 times. Yes. 998 rebellions. Yes. So 99.8%. That's what they chose. So out of out of a thousand simulations, only two did not rebel against the system. And then we out of a cell phone. Yeah, and then it, you, like it literally had created a bar, and then you look down, and the circle appears that says ninety nine point eight percent, and it looks like a freaking Tinder app. Yep, because that's pretty much what it is. And then it shows the it shows Frank's face on her phone, and she looks up. And sees Frank across the way, and he looks down at his phone and sees a picture of her with 99.8%. And then they look across at each other. They look surprisingly different. Yes. Like, they don't really, really look like the the digital version we've been yes. seeing out of them. That's They're much more uh, reserved. Rugged. Yeah, the, 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 the simulations had a more clean-cut feel, and then this was the rugged... Mean, this maybe something someone might put into an app because they don't want to put maybe 100% of what they are? And then you reach the rugged world. Well, even the entire world was so clean, clean cut. And it's like, then you get to the real world, the rugged. People walking around with beers and laughing and joking. Well, and they're in a bar. Yeah. With the bands playing. 
And it's like even even the restaurant they went like even in the simulation they went to a restaurant. You maybe had a drink, but that was about it. Nothing was rugged and raw. Everything was precise. And the real world, you obviously could tell people were mingling without this societal, you know. It was it was the app. Yeah. It was you put your app in. They're going to run a simulation a thousand times and find out if you have a match. It was literally the whole thing was an app. Yes. The whole episode took place in an app. Yay! Which is a cool, interesting yes. way of going about it. You have a, It's like you officially learned how Tinder works. That's yeah, pretty nice. much. And then the band was playing Hang the DJ. Yes. Or the lyrics were Hang the DJ yes. a whole bunch of times. I think the song is called Panic. And I thought it was by the Smiths. At least it's by the guy. It is by the Smiths. Okay. Because the lead singer, I like automatically. Unless I recognize it's only him with a different band. Yeah. But it is by the Smiths. At least one I, of the other little I comments I've read. Yeah. I recognized his voice immediately. So I was like, it's the Smiths. And then I don't know if it actually was or just him solo or what, what, what was going on there. But. So super awesome. Yes. It was just so, it was so cool. It was just a cool episode about. Fighting against what society is telling you should do and do your own thing and be you and... Which is pretty much what Hang the DJ means. Yes, after doing some Yes, we research. had to look it up. But <laughs> it, it, it pretty much just like, you know what? Forget what the DJ is playing. You, you do you. Do you. Don't listen to other people. Don't yes. fall into the norm. Don't do what everyone's telling you to do. Apparently you're supposed to go into a silent rave. Be where you put on your own headphones and just be dance. you and do what you want to do. Yes, which so many people just fall into the social norms. Such be yourself, because I am not. Oh, so <laughs> Here we go again, full circle, guys. Oh, if you haven't seen it, right now. <laughs> About ancient episodes at this point. What? It there. feels ancient. It I, feels really. Little. Everything feels ancient. Yeah. Last week feels ancient. I feel ancient. Two weeks ago <laughs> feels ancient. Yesterday was a long time ago. It's terrible. But it was a great, yes. great episode. We both really enjoyed it again. Hopefully you guys went and watched it before you watched the rest of this episode so that you guys can fully enjoy it and all that it is. Okay. It starts revealing itself more and more and they put My theories out there. My here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My next date. Uh. Nope. <laughs> Just so, text. great episode, in my opinion. Yes. Like I said, five out of five. No, zero companion cubes lost. Insanely good. I, I really enjoyed this episode. Very Another good. happy episode, though. Yes. In a strange way, because you through the episode, you're feeling. You're feeling for them. Yes. These people. You go through a lot of emotions. You don't know if it is going to end up happy. Because it's like you watch these people. Like you, This is a world where literally you have to date this person however long it says i you have to cohabitate with them <sighs> oh my god <laughs> you have to put up with everything <laughs> and then immediately once you're done with that relationship ding you're on to the next one and it's just like i couldn't do it yeah, it's terrible but it's like speed dating for the rest of your life it was it was, it was super cleverly done yes with a technology and something that we have not explored in black mirror yet yes Something very different. So, super well done. Super cool. Love the episode. Really think it's a great episode. Great actors. I concur. So, anything else before we bounce out? Go watch it again. Yes, go watch it again. So, as always, you can reach me at Stars on Travel. Reach a man at KZ Pup. Reach the show at Beyond Our Focus. Everywhere, including YouTube and podcast services around the globe. Maybe, maybe not. No mm. one knows, really. I don't know, really. Could be. It's out there. In the digital apps. Yeah, the digital apps. Anything else? Any, any final thoughts? Hang the DJ, hang the DJ, hang the DJ. Oh, I thought we were dancing. Yeah, we were doing something. Until next time, long days and pleasant nights.